bow to me. But I have beheld your natural form. Nah, mate. True forms are writhing mass of worms. What are you doing, young Lord Elrond? Huh? The long lost deposed Prince of Lindon needs me to send him a thousand gold coins in Bitcoin or untraceable bills. Why? So he can get his kingdom back. Then he'll reward me with riches beyond count. Does that not sound a little suspicious to you? No. Why? He says he's an elf. Check the email. Who's it from? Um, uh, oh, it's a name in black speech. I won't utter it here. It sounds like a scam. <laughs> Elves are not men. Not so easily deceived, Gandalf. Hey! Also, Gandalf, come on, get off your high shadow facts. Remember when you had your phone out and someone snatched it? And kept it unlocked and stole all your possessions? Yeah, but I can afford to lose all my possessions. I mean, all I own are these greasy hobbit gloves and a big stick. He's Lord of Rivendell. And I'm always finding big sticks. True. Elrond, we're taking your tech off you. No! Wait, is that Sauron goo? Could be a trillion gallons of Sauron goo. Could just be an inch deep. Even an inch deep across half of Middle Earth would be so much goo. Somebody's played Prince of Persia. Great game. We're only a labyrinth dwarven weed farm. We grow other stuff as well. Leaks and such. Just don't let the hobbits get hold of that technology. Wait. Two deer. Huh? Well, not paupers. Yeah, no shiitake when times are tough. Does he run to his print savings in a few weeks? Hmm. Start a hundred million dollar podcast and do twelve episodes. May as well put... Disa. Brace yourself. Second episode in a row where someone sensed that everything's about to get smashed up and told everyone else to hold on to something seconds before it happens. It's probably a clue for the series arc. I don't think we need a clue for the series arc. The series arc is about making the ring. No, I've seen Doctor Who. The series arc is a random thing you mention once per episode. And then at the end it turns out to be an anagram for the big villain. You wait and see. In the finale it'll turn out Sauron's working for an evil corporation called... Break yourself ink or something. Unexpected visitor. He has returned already. Dream. Are you so sure? You just tell. Nah, I'm not so sure. I think it shows the Dark Lord's influence is becoming more insidious, more contemptuous. There are horrible vines in the real world. Alright, fine. Black speeches. Fine. Yeah. And for that he needs not armies. But rings. To do what? Everyone's acting pretty bloody confident about these rings without one single person explaining what he needs them for. That's power over flesh, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone keeps saying that, but... You are but a mortal man, Boromir. You could never comprehend the terror of Sauron's power over flesh. Yeah. You men are always getting unwanted bonus. Power over flesh is a foreign concept to you. That was one school assembly. They never let me forget it. Sauron is alone. I... Region is protected by two rivers. Sauron is alone. He owns neither grappling hook nor inflatable dinghy. Calabrimbor and the secrets of his craft are safe. Is Calabrimbor the only person in Middle-earth who knows how to make rings? They must assume so. So there's no way Sauron could team up with anyone who owns a forge, or knows how to make rings, or even, I don't know, make some rings himself. Only Celebrimbor, the wisest of the smiths of Region, has the wisdom and knowledge necessary to help Sauron craft the rings he needs. Even though Celebrimbor has never heard of alloys. Sometimes when you get so technical, you can forget some of the basics. As dreams unbidden coming forth to crowd my waking mind. Well then, Galadriel, you've just discovered anxiety. What's anxiety? Sounds awful. It is. Because I've never had any. I live in the moment. I'm a jock. What I find helps is if you have a sit-down shower with the lights off and shout, Back, you devils! Into the abyss. 
Are you okay? I have seen mountains crumbling, waters running dry. I replay that dumb thing I said to the cute girl at the post office. Over and over. Hmm. Which is you good fortune on your journey? Are you asking me to leave? Sauron's a bit slow on the old social cues, isn't he? I'm getting carried out by two bounces. Are you asking me to leave? Ha! Is that you, Saruman? Uh, me. In room. It looks like me. Sounds like a young me. But I don't remember running a small empire of magical acolytes in a sandstone castle in room. Nah, it was a long time ago, then. What you call yourself? What do you mean? Well, you call yourself Saruman the White on account of... Your white hair and, I'm assuming, the colour of your robe. It is our naming process. Well spotted. But in this, I'm kind of brown and white. Saruman the... Kinder Bueno? Oh, nasty infestation. He's going to want to call out a pest control guy as soon as possible. Those moths are really spoiling the vibe of his lovely dusty tomb lair. I could have sorted it out for him. I'm good with moths. What are your rates? Nah, he couldn't afford me. Look how Spartan his house is. If I do a house visit and I can't see a single scatter cushion, it generally means they can't afford me. Glad they made us watch a full two minutes of everyone watching the moths flutter around the room before eventually getting on with it. They've cut down on the slow-mo, at least. Yeah. Now they're just padding it out with long sequences of people looking at things that feel like they're in slow-mo, even though they're not. The blood I wasted to bring you before me should have been spent on more useful servants. It's like a hundred mil of blood, at best. I mean, who are you going to get for that? Not much. Good put down, though. Makes you think a mortal like yourself could defeat an Star. Sorry. Who is this? It's Saruman, right? I mean, if not, he's, um, he's, uh, well, he's obviously some sort of dark wizard, isn't he? What are your lot? Well, no, now I'm unsure. Because he keeps talking about the Astar as though he isn't one. So he's, I don't know. It could be one of the other wizards that you get. Stop trying to write me out of this, Gandalf. I just say one of those other wizards. Well, the whole point of magic users in Middle-earth is they're incredibly rare and sent to Earth as servants of the gods. I mean, surely you know about this guy. I must have forgotten. He's a blue wizard. If in doubt, it's a blue wizard. Oh, be fair, Boromir. We loved it in season one when there was a mysterious magic character who we spent the entire season wondering about the identity of. We hated that though, didn't we? But I suppose at least it means they'll stop teasing out the stranger's identity for hours at a time. What about... Dodrick? I've had many names over the years, but fucking Dodrick? It's worse than Claire. What does Dodrick mean? Is it part Derek, part Dodo. Makes me sound like a fucking moron. I mean, what god would look at their newborn Mire and call it Dodrick? A cruel, horrible god. Fredegar. Fredegar? Can it get any worse? You name me after someone who has literally got the nickname Fatty Bolger. So, as a nickname, you would just be known as Fatty? I'm not fat. Say what you will about me, but I'm anything but fat. Can't be named after someone way in the future. The same way you can't control who uses your name in the future. And when you hear it spoken, you feel your heart glow. Oh my goodness, it's Gandalf, right? Just call him Gandalf and get over it. Might have been me. Couldn't possibly say. I have to put up with another whole series of you winking at the camera every time someone wonders who you are. And at the same time, having a dark wizard prancing around giggling, I'm just one of the other wizards, I guess. I swear to goodness, I'll punch a hole in the tally. How about Dodrick? You already said that. Seems these lands cast some spell of forgetfulness upon all who travels through them. Thank Elrua Luvatar for that. 
at last, an in-canon explanation for why I, or possibly not I, do or possibly do not remember any or all of the adventure that I, or possibly not I, go on or do not go on for the duration of this series. Now, can we all stop going on about it? Clever loophole, actually. I don't think it works that way, Pop. Silence. What is it? On the wind. Wait a second. You used that one on me! In the Fellowship, loads! And there never was anything on the wind, apart from that one time. Well, when someone gets too annoying, yeah, I just say, silence. That's too impolite, so I soften it with, on the wind. I don't want to hear about the gap of Rohan for the umpteenth time. Oh. It's incredibly hurtful. So, these Harfoots have the same hiding properties as the cloaks of the High Elves of Lothlorien. It just blends in with the surroundings. Either that or Eastlings just consider rough spun wool cloaks with some leaves on it to be a non-suspicious part of nature. Where's Boromir gone? Boz? <laughs> well, his replacement has more personality. Hey. hey guys, before I forget, I got you all a present. What is it? A gift. A gift to the foes of the watch party. I feel I've been down this road before. No, it's nothing bad, just a ring of friendship. Don't be so suspicious, Elrond. Oh, that is so kind, Charlie. I really didn't expect... Wait, what's that? What's what? Are you trying to sour on us? I know what you would say. It would seem like wisdom, if not for the warning in my heart. No, oh, that is a token of friendship. I want each ring to exemplify who we are by our qualities. Yeah. Yeah, it's like perhaps an alloy of some kind. Mine, for example, is tungsten, dense and sturdy, with meteorite, which embodies my personality and style. I didn't just want a plain generic ring, but something that used unconventional materials, impeccable craftsmanship, sustainably harvest materials, and all from family-owned workshop. Consider it a gift. Yours seem very different to ours, though. Oh, that's just because this one's from their galactic collection which they created to illustrate the eternal battles between dark and light, the essence of the enchanting universe. I mean, that's not you guys. You operate in the grey. Gandalf the grey. And yours is engraved! Yeah, that was a free perk. Something else. Like I was bowed down to you. One ring to rule them all. One ring to bind them. Wait, are you Sauroning us? And with Charlie 25, you can get a 25% discount. Cause a rumor's like a songbird. May sound filling from afar, but up close, it's an empty feast. In this analogy, is she eating the songbird? Because they're not meant for meat. Oh, coming from the Harfoot harvester. Collapsing our sun shafts. And with them, our ability to grow crops. Maybe don't live underground, then. Boromir! That's their entire culture. Gotta go where the money is. Yeah, sure, but... I feel like anyone could have told them if you live underground, it might be difficult to grow crops. I mean, I could have told them that. I'm an idiot. No, Boromir. No. Still use that technique in the modern day, Zarin? No. What do you do? Geothermal imaging. Ah. Uh, that sounds like it would work better than canaries. Have they ever ceased to provide for us? The bond is broken. <sighs> Terrible man management. You know, my dad had very similar kingdom management styles. Been polishing jewels all his life! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget you. <sighs> Dwarves. Fuck off, Lord Elrond. We can't hear the mountains anymore. <gasps> I fear Sauron may be in a region. I'm asking you to join us. I did think you were surprisingly charming and likeable in season one, Elrond. It's nice to see the crotchety, obstructive dickhead we all know and love finally coming into focus this time. It took me a while to find myself. You and me both, my friend. You and me both. Haven't you seen how long it took me to find my perfect stick? Give it a rest. Steadfastness. A dog is steadfast and quicker to follow on a leash. Yeah, but a dog can't talk, can it, though? Around. I was getting across that she was treating me like a dog. 
Oh, it wasn't an earnest suggestion that she should teach a dog to speak, rise through the elven ranks to earn the High King's ear, then influence him to her will. No, it wasn't that. The High King believes that if I were to face the enemy alone... Ah, he doesn't want to pay for the commander of the armies of the North to go on maternity. I may be vulnerable to deception. And why would he think that? Stop it, Elrond. Because you're a slut, Elrond. Sorry, take it back. Take it back. Is that what you elves do? Shave with a sharp seashell. I don't know. Only elf I ever saw with a beard. Could just be a coastal elf thing. She shaves with seashells by the seashore. Surely you guys shave your mutton chops, though. I mean, he looks completely different. He shaved Boromir. Yeah, I know. But his hair's turned blonde. I swear, that's a completely different guy. Hair gets blonder all the time in Middle-earth. We've not seen two towers. Thoden's beard is virtually green by the end of it. Judge the work. And leave judgment concerning those who wrought it. Sorry. Did Círdan just try to weigh in on cancel culture? I think he did. So Sauron is J.K. Rowling in this analogy. Or by comparison. And the rings of the books. I mean, they are good books. Yeah, they're good books, Elrond. I just question whether I want catty remarks about cancel culture to come in the form of the wisest elf in a Lord of the Rings TV show on Amazon Prime. I'll have Tom Bombadil be part of QAnon next. It is called humility. It's difficult for most. But it is the truest form of sight. My humility is 2020. If humility were an Olympic sport, I'd be like that Turkish guy. What power over flesh means. The rings have the power to excite fish. Among other things. So Sauron's big game plan was, among other things, to be able to control all the fish in Middle Earth. How can you be so flippant, Boromir? And you hear the darkness in the words you're saying. What if Sauron had succeeded? What if all the fish in Middle-earth had followed him like the Pied Piper into Mordor? So that we could never eat fish ever again. No more fish fingers. No more fish pie. No more kedgeri. Is that the world you want? I live in a landlocked kingdom. Not into fish. I'm a beef and chicken kind of guy. Hang a dang minute, you mean? That was actually the big deal. You went to war with Sauron because he was going to take away your fish fingers. It was a multifaceted geopolitical issue. But do not let that fear blind you to the ways it can be used for good. Not power over flesh. No, that's the bad ones, Boromir. Elves don't use their rings to control their boners, Boromir. That'd be ridiculous. Yeah, of course. Of course. That is not very dignified of an Astari. I can't believe I let them do that. We better have been taking it in turns. How do they broach that idea with you? I know. Mr. Gandalf, sir, we're, we're kind of tired, but I do have this tarpaulin in my backpack, and this rope, and this whip, and these dog treats. But someone who hasn't eaten in so long still waits so much. I didn't complain one bit when it was their turn. Very ungrateful. Work you ploughing the sand fields until you collapse from exhaustion. In fact, shame you while you're unconscious. Just decided I don't really like hobbits quite as much as I thought I did. What's that? It's a list ranking how much I like people. Where am I on that? Oh, you do not want to know. Not after the Westford stuff. <laughs> Okay, Gendon. Yeah, sorry. I get triggered by the sight of hobbits f***ing up near worlds in a way that alerts the enemy to their position. You've not got a great track record of that. Incompetent hobbits should be chucked in wells. It should be the law. Steady on, Gandalf. Show me some footage of a hobbit not f***ing up near a well. You changed my mind. Why does the well even have a well? Well, when I go into Hamley's, they have those big alarms by the door to make sure I've not shoplifted. Yeah, but the well gets filled by rain, which is free. Precious commodity though, isn't it? It's so easy to disarm that bell as well. It's easy to disarm a shoplifting alarm. Ah, see that, guys? Stick. I refuse to get invested in this how did Gandalf get his stick character arc? 
It's not interesting. It doesn't look quite like my famous stick, does it? Ah, this must be a different stick. This is not a good storyline, Gandalf. Well, Amazon have clearly decided that it is. And I'm going to do my best to help them sell it. It's more like a shepherd's crook. I am kind of like a hobbit owner. Are those the coconut pirate things from Moana? Those look a lot like them. So, your staff channels and harnesses your powers? Yes, Boromir. So, without your staff... Oh, you've seen, I can lose control of my powers and it can cause untold damage. So why did Wormtongue tell them to take your staff when you came to Rohan? I thought the implication there was that without your staff, you had no powers. I'm Gandalf the Grey. But maybe Wormtongue knew that without the staff, an Astari would never risk using their powers, because it would inevitably result in... Embarrassment? I was going to say calamity. It would be pretty embarrassing if you made Theoden blow up and loads of bugs crawl out of his ribcage. Would have made Helm's Deep easier if we'd done that, to be fair. Don't know my own strength. I'm still dumbfounded. You can do all this, and the amount of near-death scrapes we got into as a fellowship, when we could have used something like that. I was younger then. Well, one might have actually been able to simply walk into Mordor. If a tornado had blown open the gates and cleared a path through the orcs. Ah, not my stick. Guess the mystery goes on. Gandalf. You don't even look like you feel particularly bad about that. Guys, if there's one thing you should know about me by now, it's that I treat halflings as very expendable. He said Nori like a dozen times. He didn't say Poppy once. I try not to get too attached. Nori! Nori! Please subscribe so that we can get more Lord of the Rings fans on the channel. Gather up our full strength and march on the blank gate. Obi-Wan's room. Yes, Obi-Wan's room. I have called it Ithildin. Made from our last sliver of Mithril. Are any of us hankering for an origin story? For a Theodin? Nope. Next. Our visitor, is he still? I always imagine Sauron's schemes with... I don't know. Cleverer than this. He's a master manipulator. Yeah, but... He realised that his methods for manipulating people were just to stand outside in the rain. Like a creepy ex-boyfriend. Well, you can't argue with the results. You're gonna catch a death in that thin tunic. Get indoors. I, Lord Rishi Sunak, have an announcement. Caliban Moore's wife's in the background, getting soaked. The greatest the smith reason, of his age, and he can't even design here. an umbrella that stops him from getting absolutely soaked. If you do not leave life. willingly, she said you'd say that. Cunning. Fiendishly cunning. You know, I wouldn't have fallen for that one. What about the High King? Surely he wouldn't neglect to send word of... Oh, no, surely not the High King. The true creators toil till their knuckles bleed. And then they come along, take whatever profits them most, and forget all about us. That wasn't giving us a metaphor about the writer's strike. That is bold. Oh, yeah. If I remember correctly, Amazon has always been a staunch critic of capitalism. There's no cause to stay where I'm not wanted. Sauron has really mastered the 12 basic skills of negotiation, hasn't he? Are you weeping? No. Well, because of the onions. And they haven't taken my antihistamines. After all this time, after so many centuries, to finally create something. You said he was the greatest of the smiths of Eregion. Yeah what I heard. He's been alive for centuries and this is the first thing he's made. I wonder he's never heard of alloys. He never actually turned his forge on and done any smithing before. So fake it till you make it kind of guy. I'm going to open a first stage bottle. Are you an alcoholic? I feel like you're making an excuse to drink. Just making the greatest craft of an age toast worthy. Mm. Are you my friend? Calabrimbar, are you my dad? He's lonely. 
He did all this because he's lonely. I'm going to enslave hundred thousands of orcs. Then they'll have to be my friends. You see, I've never been able to hide anything from you. They worked on one project together, not long lost lovers. You're not a creative, Gandalf. You don't know how that feels. Elves are not men. Oh. Men are covetous. Oh, here we go again. Boromir, what are you doing right now? And where did you get that woman's purse? I don't know. See, I'm not the only one who's racist to men. That's not redeeming you in the way you think it is. My name is not Halbrand. Not even the uh, mortal. Yeah, good work, dumb wits. How is he not puzzling this out? A messenger from the Valard. Sent to they call me superstitious, but I think I'd get suspicious if literally every time the person I was talking to was about to tell me who he was, the weather got really spooky and literally interrupted him. It's a fragrant red flag on a date. Fragrant? Yeah, fragrant. Blatant red flag. Like if he was good, then the sun would start shining and songbirds and deer would appear at the door and the deer would be tugging at your robe to make the rings and then you'd be like, get off me, you rabid deer. Yum, making them, making them. Oh man, the wine. First aid's that bottle. Probably corked. Oh, all seems about bored. Nothing ominous there. The Lord of the Rings. You just, when the wind blew the door open, you just run behind there and put a blonde wig on. So to take some pointy ears to your head. No. Well, I saw you. You've only got one arm in your sleeve and your fly is still undone. Oh, I practiced it so many times, but when the big moment came, I always fluff it. You need not bow to me. But I have beheld your natural form. Nah, mate. True forms a writhing mass of worms. You can see why he didn't come out of the forge like that. And have quite the same impact. Behold my majesty! Sorry for dripping all over your floor. I've had trouble holding myself together recently. Our work begins now. You have work to do. Anatar. Sorry, man. Did you just mispronounce your own name? No, I didn't. Anatar. And. Anatar. Lord of Gift. Obvious Santa Claus joke, but we're above that, right? Yeah. So Galadriel's gonna get there and be like, Hey, you, you look like Halbrand, but an elf. And he'll be like, Oh, me? No, I'm not Halbrand. I'm Anita. Oh, okay, Anita. Well, you seem like a trustworthy chap. Well, but we've had word that Sauron might be skulking around these parts. So if you see a Sauron, you let us know. I will. I'm sir, I will. Let me swear it by kissing your feet. For a day, Gion, at first light, with five of our bravest elves. Wait, you said brave? Where's Elrond here? Oh, ha 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 ha. Elrond's task is not to join your company, but to lead it. Oh! Oh! Now kiss my feet. If you want to catch up on where we're up to watching the Fellowship of the Ring, you can see that here. And thank you to all our patrons who have been supporting us over the last two years. If you want to see what we have on our Patreon, it's over here.